The lifeblood of Music City is being forced out of town. Musicians who dream of making it big here say they can't afford to live here. And in some cases, it's crushing dreams. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with one artist who is demanding laws change to help them. Musician Jacqueline Torrento works three jobs to pay the bills. So the gig rate, gig rate is not increasing, whereas the rate of, of our apartments is increasing, and so you can't really make up for that. You can try and do more gigs, but there's only so many gigs you can do in, in a day. Her rent has gone up 30%. She moved to her one bedroom in Germantown in 2019. 712 square feet. <laughs> her new lease would be hundreds more a month. We're playing four hour gigs on Broadway uh, with no breaks. And, you know, you're working hard to, to bring all these people to Nashville to, to spend their money in Nashville and then not get that money back and to not even be able to afford a place to live here in the city. It's hard. She says in Chicago, rent caps were helpful, but Tennessee state law would have to change to make that happen. It's disheartening. Uh, it brings you down because, you know, you're part of the industry that, that brings tourism here. Many of her fellow artists are looking for roommates or moving back to their hometown. Oh, it's a double edged sword because you could realistically move outside the city, but with, you know, the rise in gas prices, you're paying one way or another. At this point, she's not sure where she'll go, but she plans to talk to state legislators about their struggles. A lot of people I know um, have are considering moving and, you know, it's the heart of the music city. It's why people come here is for for music. Reporting in Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5. Alexander, thank you. In places like Miami, landlords are required to give tenants a 60 day notice if they are increasing rent more than 5%. Most here only give a 30 day notice due to state law.